Deep inside a jungle where nature's running wild, coming to the rescue is the very special child. Hello, my fellow warriors. Hope you're doing well. I'm quite sick, but that's okay. If you're new here, hi. My name is Dinka, and I watch videos, react to them, and explain their lore along the way. So the first champion of 2023 has finally been announced. Milio, the Gentle Flame, who's going to be our first enchanter since Taric. No, not this one. That one. And the first child champion since Nunu. No, not that one. This one. Now, when it comes to his lore, although it's very sweet and wholesome, we only have, like, half of it. Milio was unceremoniously dropped on Saturday with a bio and only one out of five letters, which were supposed to explain his current position in Ishtal. Mind you, it's already been three days and we still haven't received the rest of the letters, so I'm only working here with half the info. Anyway, Milio is the Ishtali kid that taught himself the Fire Oxium, which he later turned into a new Oxium that can heal others. I honestly don't know if it's Oxium or Oxium, I know that it's Ishtal, but I keep pronouncing the X's. The Ashiomata, for those who don't know, is what the Ishtali call their elemental magic, with fire, rock, and magnetism considered to be more specialized and prestigious. The only other Ishtali elemental magic user is none other than Kinwa, the bratty princess that mastered three elemental magics and claimed she mastered fire as well, which I believe is bullshit, because besides the fact that she doesn't have it in her kit and it's not even mentioned in her lore, I believe she lacks what Milio has to be able to master it, which won't be surprising because they grew up very differently. See, Milio's grandmother's Lupe and her twin sister Lune were two incredible elemental masters who used earth and fire axioms to overcome the Vidalian's trials. The Vidalian being an ancient artifact that weaves magic into material form, and that also decides if you're worthy to join the Yuntal, which are the highest seats in Ishtal's hierarchy, who are currently occupied by the ten daughters of Ishaokan's governors, aka the Yunalai, aka Kiana, and all of her nine sisters. But after Luna was caught plotting against the Yuntal, both sisters were convicted of crime and punished as twins, Lupe being banished into the farthest reaches of Ishtal, and Luna being imprisoned beneath the city. Thing is, when Milio was born, which by the way, we have no idea who his parents are, he showed promising talent, but as a kid who just wanted to be a kid, his grandma just gave up on him because she couldn't figure out how to discipline him. Milio, however, continued to learn on his own, abandoning his grandma's guidance and restrictions, and eventually mastering fire, the one axiom his grandmother wouldn't teach him. But being the adorable and the one non-traumatized child of Runeterra, he decided that F shouldn't be for fire that burns down the whole town, but for friends who do stuff together. Discovering a whole new fire axiom that can heal others, he called it Soothing Fire and manifested his Fuemigos. Which at first his grandma was like side-eyeing, but then she went, ah shit, he actually can get us unbanned from Ishtal. Let's tune his skills. Which she did, resulting in a powerful 12-year-old who went to the big city of Ishaokan, where he began his training to challenge the Vidalian, join the Yuntal, and making his family proud. This could have been all very nice, if not for the fact that there's a crazy bitch in the Yuntal that doesn't like it when the spotlight is taken away from her. Homegirl crippled her own sister and burned down an entire village just to make a point. If her position in the Yuntal somehow threatened by Milio, she will strangle him herself. Especially since there's no formal criteria to be able to join the Yuntal. So like, imagine competing against nine sisters for the highest position that traditionally you're not allowed to have because you're the youngest. So you bust your ass off, including killing a bunch of civilians so people will respect you, just for some fire wielding twerp who can heal others to come and steal your spotlight. Yeah, no, Kiki won't have that. And from the letter art we received so far, it seems like not only did he make friends with Nidali and Nico, but he also caught the attention of others for being a wholesome little beb, including his anarchist grandma Lune. Hopefully the cinematic will receive some extra info, so without further ado, empecemos. Kiki Gaming, bitch. <laughs> Wait, let me fix my bangs. And start. This is giving Disney so Pixar. Scary, oh my god. Never to be seen again. Not the pose! Pretty amazing, it's so right? cute! Ah! <laughs> the funny you goes! So brave, Neil. Tell us more. Nothing. Nothing talking to myself. 
who's just like me for real. Wait, what the fuck? Why is it so cute? That's what it looks like in the game? You won't believe this, but I battled a You get like chibi slimes? Wait, is the The scuttle is this big? I learned to heal a lot of people at once. Way more than I did at home. Damn. Wow, that sounds tough. How do you do it, Leo? <laughs> There's self-interaction. It's easy. Wherever I go, I try to make new friends. Aw, it's him and Nita. Yeah. Eventually. I know it's surprising, but fire doesn't Hey, yo! Happen. It's nice to help people see it differently. That is such an insane Maybe fucking ability. <laughs> so cute. Oh my god, my heart. My family is gonna love those. What? Probably you can do that to the crab god? I wish they were here right now. They are here right now. And remember, we're gonna make them so proud. My heart! You don't understand. Besides the fact that I'm obsessed with this little bedlin and his little bubbas. I've seen these abilities on Skin Spotlight, like, two days ago, and it only now downed on me what an insane potential he has. Canceling an Orgot ultimate? What? Are you okay, little mummy? <gasps> Do you need a hug? Oh, no, no. He's making friends. Oh, what a cute stuffed bear. <gasps> yes! Yes, Annie. Oh my Perfect. gosh, who are these little buddies? <gasps> Meeps? Shut the fuck up! I called it! I drew this the, the day he came out! I drew them together! Oh! I'm a genius. I'm a genius. Queen behavior. Brand, does your fire heal too? <gasps> Can he or heal Brand? Style? Gwen, slow down! My Omele always says not to run with scissors. Omele! Am I gonna be as big as you one day, Cassante? I can't wait! My heart! So many dogs! <gasps> Which one's like Snuggles the Ooh, most, Nafiri? Ooh, Nafiri! Nico! Ko om sehena! Ko om sehena, yes! Nidali! Can I play with the Pekiti again soon? Please? <gasps> oh. You have a big friend too, Nunu? Yes! No, no. Mind ah! oh, I'm oh so my happy! Oh gosh, Kiana! <gasps> you're so short in person! He did not! <gasps> Rest in peace, Melio. Hey, Big Dagger Cat! My hunting's got Not Big bad. Dagger what? Cat! Stop! Book Kitty! So <laughs> cute. Must pet. Of course. My Omele was right about the scissors. Oh, God. Nafiri, who's a good puppy? You're a good puppy. I need to see All Nafiri! Be friends. Right, Nico? Yes! You don't have to go easy on me, Nidali. I can take it. <laughs> oh. Sorry, Kiana. Please, please don't hate me. Oh, God. Kiana! Once I'm in the Yuntal, can we hang out like this all the time? <laughs> please! Oh, my God. Oh, Lord. He's giving anime protagonist that is going to overpower the one super strong character within th the series. He will win with the power of happiness and friendship on his side. I'm gonna be the youngest kid to ever join the Yuntan. Pretty amazing. Uh, I really met so many new people. Like that plant lady. And that one rock. And that big cat. Oh my god! He met Zyra, Malphite, Rengar, right? Big cat is Rango. My Fernacita isn't as heavy as it looks. I built it myself. I love the whole idea of like elemental magic being used to create clothing and or items like the Farnesita that he is uh, having on his, ba on his back. Um, but another thing about it is that his grandma helped him make it. So like it's even extra special. It's so, it's so wholesome. Ah. If I were back home, I'd be helping mama cook. Or be feeding the animals with papa. His parents are not dead? What kind of child Runterra protagonist are you? That makes no sense. Healthy family relationship? This is Zeri all over again. My Omele says joining the Yuntal will make my family happy. And she knows best. Right? Why is it so sus? Why is this so fucking sus? They didn't tell him, did they? 
If they didn't tell him about the problem, <laughs> the tiny little problem of like an anarchist grandma. Oh my god. Oh lord. Yeah, I'm just I'm just waiting for the chaos downfall. This is way too much happiness for me. I need the chaos. Where's the fucking drama? I just want to go home. Baby. I'm so sorry, Omele. Stop! No! I want to help my friends. Ah! Why are you doing this? <laughs> so much happiness and joy. I really hope nothing bad is gonna happen. He's so innocent. He's so pure. Like, I need to protect him at all costs. So obviously Riot can completely go a different route and decide that Milio is actually going to be Kiana's only friend. Which I really hope is not going to be the case because girl needs to be humbled, okay? You can't give her a redemption arc when she's not even where she's supposed to be. I need to know what's in the letters. What's in the next four letters? Why is it not out yet? I just don't understand why his release was so messy. Like, you've already had the assets. So why not start teasing with the letters throughout the week, show a snippet of the trailer, show a cinematic, and then drop Milio with a concept video. You've created the pattern, so why not just follow it? Especially when you drop him on the very same day that you drop a Valorant agent with a full-scale music video that has been teased weeks in advance. Milio, on the other hand, had his fire babies teased to us a century ago, and at some point you could even see them on the rift if you weren't focusing on playing the actual game. Hopefully in the next release, it's going to be a lot more organized, not just for us to be able to have that hype buildup that we expect for a new champion release, but also so us creators could work properly without having to do like only half the job. His ability kit is quite similar to Karma and Lulu's, but the real start of the show is his ultimate that can cancel crowd control, something we've never had in the game before and what will probably bring one of the biggest gameplay changes in esports history. I'm in love with this skin, he is so freaking adorable and the way that he has interaction with the Inflamigos and he just voices them, my god! And although Riot took most of their inspiration from Antonio Madrigal from Encanto, they still managed to make him his own little man! Little boy! My sweet cheese! Little soldier! Ugh! Now, let's just hope Kiana's not gonna try to kill him. As always, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment for the algorithm gods. And if you'd like to support me or the channel, you can check out my Patreon and or my Ukrainian A donation page. Thanks again for watching, and I hope to see you next time! Adios. Bonjour.